Content migration is the process of moving resources in one environment to another environment. That process generally has two phases. You usually export content from the source environment and then import content to the target environment. In SAS VIA, there are two interfaces available to export and import content. SAS Environment Manager and the transfer plugin of the SAS VIA command line interface. In this video, we're going to look at using the transfer plugin of the SAS VIA CLI. The SAS VIA command line interface is available for download from support.sas.com. In this video, you'll see a short demo where we'll go through the following steps. On the source system, we're going to export to a SAS package that will be stored on the source system infrastructure data server. We will then download that package to a JSON file, move it to the target system, and then on the target system, we'll upload that JSON file to the infrastructure data server on the target system, and then import the SAS package. Our package contains SAS content, like folders, reports, SAS Studio flows, etc. Okay, let's get started with the demo. When using the VIA command line interface, the first thing we have to do is authenticate. So here I'm going to use my profile to authenticate to my source environment, which is called from 3.5. I'm going to log on as an administrative user. The transfer CLI uses IDs to reference content objects, so we need to find the IDs. So the first thing we'll do is we'll use the folders part of the CLI to find the ID of the folder path we want to export, which is gel content, gel core sales. We can use that folder path to look at the folders and see what content's in there. As I say, the ID is very important, so we'll get the folder ID and we'll put it into an environment variable so that we can use it as part of the export process. We'll use the export command of the transfer CLI next and it expects a URI to be passed. So the ID is the last part of the URI and if we're looking at a folder, the first part is slash folder slash folders. So we run the command sas via transport export, pass up the URI and we'll give our export package a name. So this is going through and exporting the content and it outputs the package ID that's been created and we can grab that into an environment variable too because in the next step we'll need that package ID to be able to download the package onto this system in a JSON file. Using that package ID then we will do a SAS via transfer download and point it to a file and point the ID to the package ID and that downloads the transfer package into a file. We can see it here in the file system and we could do a cat on the file to see its contents. The JSON file is a transfer package containing all the content within the folder we chose to export. Type it to JQ just to make it easier to look at and there we go, there's our transfer package containing the reports, the flows, the folders. Alright, now we're over on our target environment. The first thing we're going to do is use the transfer upload to upload that JSON file into the target environment. And I'm also going to create a mapping file, which is a file that can be used to map items in a source environment to the same items or different items in the target environment. For example, cast libs or cast tables. So the transfer upload command uploads the package. It outputs the ID of the package. Again, we will need that ID for subsequent steps. So we'll run a little command to put the ID in an environment variable for later use. Let's look at the mapping file that was created. We will pipe it to JQ to get it in a nicer format. And you can see that it maps the cast server, the cast library, and the cast tables in the source environment to those in the target environment. So we can edit them to remap if the table names or the cast server names are different. We can look at the contents of the package. Here we can see 
the whole list of things we have authorization rules we have reports we have folders that's what we expect to see that's the package from our source environment now in the infrastructure data server of the target environment we can take a different view of it by passing the dash dash tree option that shows it in the folder tree structure Now we have the package in our target environment, we'll use that package ID and we'll use transfer with the import command, point it to the ID and it will go through and import the resources in the package. It shows us that 23 tasks were performed and they all succeeded and gives us a list of the content that was imported and we can select a row number and see more details. So here we see a data flow was imported and the folder location it went in. Here we see a report. And if we do number 16, that's an authorization rule with the rule URI included for information. This little interface that gives us more information about each item in the package is available if you do the output style of text on the CLI. You can also do an output style of JSON to get much more details. With the import completed in the target environment with the folders plugin of the SASFIA CLI, we can again list the content within the folders to see that it's been imported successfully. So this short demo has showed you how to export from a source environment with the SAS via CLI and the transfer plugin and then import the same content into a different environment. There's a lot more information on content migration within VIA in the migration section of the SAS via administration guide.